Hey, welcome back. After a small break for the holidays, I'm finally back to working on the entrance area. No better place to start than the door. So once again, the CNC is put to work. Now I start with half the door and then I spin the board around and do the other half and hopefully the two sides align. Once the door is ready, then I have to include the auto slide track. and the hardware for the pocket door. Now the door looks like it's lighter than, than it should be. I mean, it is MDF, so as you know, MDF is quite heavy. I have my poker face on, can't let you see me sweat. Here's a fun fact. This is probably the eighth time I've put this door in place. I eventually had to take the pocket door hardware off and recenter it, otherwise the door was rubbing into the pocket area. And then I had to realign the track so that it would line up with the gear properly. With that, the door is now lined up perfectly. So next up, the auto slide needs to be installed. Basically line up the track and the gear, pre-drill, and then screw it in place. This is my attempt at hiding the power cord for the auto slide. Now there are two of them. Anyway, here is the sensor which I decided to go wireless with. Luckily, it's just powered with one 9-volt battery. Next up, door trim. Now, that door trim is from the original door that led into the theater, so repurposed, thus saving a little bit of money. Now, the outer door design is nothing special. I just wanted to add a tad of visual interest. Okay, now on to the inside. So these two code air returns I actually installed back when this area was open, but now that it's closed, it makes no sense. And besides, I want to do something else with that space. Now there are studs on the other side of the wall that I believe are load bearing. So I couldn't and probably shouldn't mess with them. I decided it was probably wise to cut around them. Okay, after I marked my studs, something peculiar happened. Yep, that's right. I pressed record when I thought I was pausing, and I paused when I thought I was recording. Luckily, I figured it out early on. So it's about this time that I'm thinking, what have I done? So after a crying and drinking episode out in the car, I decided to press on. 
I'm making three identical boxes and these will house the dioramas that I plan to make in the future. Now that the pieces are all cut, it's time to assemble these things. I went on Amazon and found these lights that I plan on using for the boxes. Decided not to use the adhesive, but instead just use some Forstner bits and drop them in place. So here I'm finding the center and the top. Then I use one size Forstner bit to go halfway through the material. Then I use a smaller size to go all the way through. Here I'm cutting the plexiglass. I already cut one and I'm using it as a template. So I'm putting tape down that way the saw doesn't scratch the existing plexiglass when I go to make the other cuts. I'm using a 140 tooth blade. I'll put the link in the description below. So I've gone through and painted everything I could in here, um, including the door. I haven't done any weathering on that particular door yet, but that comes up next. And before that, I painted the outside area. So see, that's what the door looks like. So everything came out pretty well. Wait a minute. Uh-oh, you've seen too much. Well, this would be a perfect time to subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post that video next. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.